Just a reminder that box lunch money ends on the 16th of this month. Also, high cash will kick off on, on the 12th of this month for loyalty members and everyone else on the 13th. And that will end on the 23rd of January. So now that I've gotten that information out of the way, let me just show you all these amazing bags. Also, I'm going to show you all my box lunch money haul so far. Now, my store did have a few brand new bags on the first day of me using my box lunch money, which was on the 5th. Yes, Sweet Wheels love to go on the first day. Y'all know how I roll. I ain't waiting for that list to show up. You know that list I'm talking about. Wink, wink. <laughs> Now, I did see a lot of brand new card holders, no bags attached to it, like the Mr. Potato Head and Tinkerbell. I don't think I put her in the video, but you'll see Mr. Potato Head and Mrs. Potato Head. I'm really looking forward to seeing the bags. I'm hoping that they come in before box lunch money ends. Don't be playing no game, lounge fly. Lounge fly. Don't play no games and have those bags after the fact. You know, like the next day after box lunch money ends. Y'all, we ain't having that this time around. But this Beauty and the Beast bag is cute. I love the lace look on it. Here's the inside decor and you see the scrap in there as well. Here's that Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head card holder I was telling you all about. I'm hoping that the bag comes very soon. Not too sure if I'm going to get it. Okay, I'm thinking I might get it, but we just going to have to see. Also, we have this coin purse as well did not pick it up but it's really cute i had to put this bag in a video i don't know if i showed you all this bag before but if i didn't here you go again that's how cute it is now i want to do something different now i know i don't always show you all merchandise as much but i'm over here in the harry potter section and yes that is my house the ravenclaw that's my house, y'all, just in case you didn't know. Shout out to all the houses, all right? But I want to get some of the merchandise in there. Y'all, let me know when it comes to my video. Do you all want to see other things besides just the bags? You want to see, you wanna see like Harry Potter? You want to see the baby section? I didn't see too many socks. I know my girl loves socks. You know who I'm talking about. Maybe I'll try another location. We have the card holder for the Tigger bag. And this is my first time seeing this Winnie the Pooh reef. I, it's really cute. This is something that I probably would get, but I'm going to see if it's going to go on like sale, sale. Because you know how we roll. We like to roll on the cheap, cheap. There's a brand new bag, the Monsters Incorporated pen backpack. So I'm going to show you all how this bag operates. Let me open it up for you all. You see, we have this. Now, at first, I was kind of confused. And here we have the inside of the bag. It comes with this exclusive Pixar ball pen. You won't be able to get anywhere else unless you buy that bag. Also has this pink pad in it. And when you take the pink pad, this is how it looks. Because I was kind of confused. I'm like, okay, if they got this pink thing in here, how are you going to see the pen? Now you'll be able to see the pens once you take the pad out. And I'm going to go ahead and put the pad back in. Really like this bag. Not something I'm going to, I would get because I would want my pens to be displayed and not hidden. But you know what? That's just me. Everyone is different. Here's the back of the bag. I'm going to show you all the front and the back of the Danielle Nicole Cinderella and Mulan card holders. I really like these card holders, but I don't know. I might get the Mulan one. Of course, I got to get the Cinderella one. Yeah, this time around, I didn't really get any card holders. I did get a brand new wallet, and I need to get that Nightmare Before Christmas Reef wallet. Here's a brand new Lady in the Tramp backpack. I know some collectors like to wear certain bags for certain seasons. This is a really nice autumn, spring, summer type of backpack to me. Really, really cute. Love the details on this particular bag. Let me show you all some side action. I'm not too sure. It doesn't have a side pocket. I didn't really pay attention to it as much. <laughs> I apologize about that. Now, I had to show you all the Cinderella bag one more time. Now, I did get this bag for box lunch money, but I purchased it online. Let me just tell y'all something. This time around, they didn't exclude as much as they did last time, which I was kind of shocked and surprised. So, I'm hoping for those of you all who have box lunch money because a lot of people did not have box lunch money around this time. Yes, this time around, a lot of people did not have any box lunch money. And for different reasons, I did hear some people speak about the Christmas season. That's why. And there are other reasons out there I cannot remember. But I didn't have that much. And I was kind of shocked because I stay with the tickets on deck. I stay with the box lunch money because I'm ready to spend. Hey! But this time around, I didn't have it. So I do apologize about anyone who was waiting for me to post codes. Sweet Wheels didn't have enough codes to go around this time. Let's see what next time around will bring. But I'm hoping that everyone that did have codes or were able to get some codes was able to purchase the items that you all wanted that weren't excluded. Like I said, this time around, a lot of things weren't excluded, even the Funko Pops. So I'm hoping you all were able to get that. Now for my box lunch money haul on that day. Like I said earlier, I didn't have too much box lunch money, so this was all I was able to get. As you can see, I got a bag, Funko Pop, also got a pen, 
And these two sodas, I'm going to show you all what I got. What do you all think? Do you think I got a chase or a common, two chases or two commons? You all think about that. And I'm going to show you all what I got in the next picture. But I was really, really excited about my haul. You all, look at here. Look at here, look at here, look at here. When I saw that Sully Chase, I was so ecstatic, all right? Listen, listen. It's not every day Sweet Wheels get a chase, and I love the sodas. The sodas are so exciting and so fun, whether it be a common, but even more exciting when it's a chase. Now, the Spooky Space Coop, I really wanted to get the chase for that. I mean, it's a limited edition of 7000 but one out of six two fifty, I'm good with that. But the selling run, selling one, I'm really, really excited about that. Comment down below if you got a chance to purchase these two, and which one did you get? Did you get the chase on either one, both, or you just got both comments? Put it down below in the comment section. If you all thought I was gonna leave this video without putting this bag in it, you had another thing coming. Listen, listen. This bag is gorgeous. This is that one bag that cannot stand stock on Box Lunch. Every time it goes stock, it's going out of stock. Coming back in stock, going out of stock. I wouldn't be surprised if they decided to do a pre-order for this bag. I really don't know. I guess they pick and choose how they're going to do things. But I really like this bag. Love seeing all the characters on this bag. The reef on it. Let me tell you something. Whoever designed this bag needs of race okay it definitely reminds me of the reef itself i just really think everything with this particular bag was executed perfectly i love the scraps on the bag also they didn't forget our boy zero you see he has the candy cane in the mouth i don't know if he want to play he want to eat it or he want to give it to jack whichever one doesn't matter to me also let me show you all the inside decor what you're seeing right now is just the background to the bag and we have sally's legs so we got her full body when we open it up also the inside decor is just black all right, everyone, so that'll do it for my video today. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm really happy with the purchases I made when it comes to the bags. I didn't go overboard. There were some bags that I was ifing to try to get, but then I was thinking, what do I love instead of what do I like? So these bags I purchased, like the Zero and this Nightmare Before Christmas bag, also the Cinderella bags, those are the bags that I love. Also, I purchased a lot of Funko Pops that I did wait on for box lunch money to come around. And I purchased a total, don't laugh at me, seven long sleeve shirts because it is winter and it's kind of cold out here in Texas, baby. I got to protect these arms from that weather. That's what I did a lot of purchasing on. Funko Pops that I really wanted, that I waited for this time around, and a lot of long sleeve shirts. And I'm really, really happy. You all comment down below and tell me what you purchased with Box Lunch Money or you didn't purchase anything this time around because you didn't see anything you like. Just let me know in the comment section. And like always, if you're watching this video and you had not subscribed to my channel, definitely go ahead and subscribe, like, share, and comment on this video. Also, hit that notification bell. Make sure you click on all so you be notified whenever I drop a video or community post. And I know I haven't been doing my Disney Collector News video, but I will be posting one tomorrow. So please keep your eyes out for that. And until next time, everyone, take care.